What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Gatian, and in today's lesson, we're going to double and even triple your vocabulary without effort with the help of homonyms. They're words that have the same spelling and the same pronunciation, but different meanings. So, we're going to learn new meanings of those words you already know. So, basically, we're going to magically boost your vocabulary. Are you ready? If so, let's kick off! So, the first homonym on my list today is address. First, we're going to look at its pronunciation. In the British English, the stress always goes at the end. Address. While in the American English, it changes depending if it's a noun or a verb. If it's a noun, the stress goes on the first syllable. Address. But if it's a verb, the stress goes at the end to address. So remember this aspect. And now we're going to look at its different meanings. The first one, as you already know, it means a place where a person lives or works. For example, what's your address? What's your address? Or in the British English, the stress would go at the end. What's your address? What's your address? And now we're going to look at its second meaning. It can be also a verb, which means to deal with a problem or matter. An example sentence. We need to address this issue. We need to address this issue. Let's move on to our second homonym, which is can, American pronunciation, or can, British. So the first meaning is a modal verb. An example sentence, I can help you if you want. I can help you if you want. And the second meaning of can is a metal container in which food or drink is sold. For example, could you bring me a can of coke, please? Could you bring me a can of coke, please? Number three, bet. It's again American pronunciation or but British. The first meaning is a small animal like a mouse with wings that flies at night. For example, I'm terrified of bats. I'm terrified of bats. True story. The second meaning is a wooden stick used for hitting the ball, for example, in baseball. An example sentence. Have you seen my baseball bat? Have you seen my baseball bat? And it can be also a verb to bat, which means to hit a ball with a bat. For example, who is batting next? Who is batting next? Number four, ball. The first meaning is to suddenly stop standing or sitting on something. For example, I've fallen off my bike. I've fallen off my bike. And fall is also autumn in American English. For example, my birthday is in the fall. My birthday is in the fall. Number five, foot. The first meaning is the part of your body at the bottom of the leg. For example, my foot is swollen. My foot is swollen. The second meaning, the foot of something means the lowest part of something. For example, it can be the foot 
of a cliff, a page, or your bed. An example sentence, please sign at the foot of the page. Please sign at the foot of the page. And it can be also a verb to foot something, which means to pay for something. It's informal. An example sentence, he was reluctant to foot the bill. He was reluctant to foot the bill. And guys, before we continue with more homonyms, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and your notification is turned on. Thank you. Now let's continue. Number six, match American pronunciation or British match. The first meaning is a sports event where people or teams compete against each other. For example, the match was boring. The match was boring. The second meaning of match is a wooden stick used to light a fire. For example, have you got a box of matches? Have you got a box of matches? The third meaning is a person or a thing that combines well with someone or something else. For example, they are a great match. They are a great match. And it can be also a verb to match, which means to combine well. For example, the skirt matches the top. The skirt matches the top. Let's move on to our homonym number seven, which is ring. The first meaning is a piece of jewelry worn especially on your finger. For example, I can't find my ring. I can't find my ring. The second meaning is a confined area where people compete or perform. It can be, for example, a boxing ring or a circus ring. For example, the boxer has left the boxing ring. The boxer has left the boxing ring. It can be also a verb to ring, which means to phone somebody. For example, I'll give you a ring tomorrow. I'll give you a ring tomorrow. And the last meaning, when a telephone makes a sound, it rings. For example, the phone's ringing. The phone's ringing. Number eight, tender. The first meaning is an adjective that means kind, gentle, and loving. For example, he gave me a tender smile. He gave me a tender smile. The second meaning is also an adjective that we use to describe food that is easy to cut and chew. For example, my steak is tender. My steak is tender. It can be also a verb to tender something to someone. And it means to formally present or offer something, especially in writing. It can be suggestion, resignation, or for example, money. An example sentence, he tendered his resignation to his boss. He tendered his resignation to his boss. And to tender for something means to offer to do work or provide services for a specific price in competition with other offers. And it's a synonym of to bid for something. An example sentence, the company is tendering for the contract. The company is tendering for the contract. Two more to go, number nine, tire. So the first meaning is a verb, to tire somebody, is to make somebody feel tired. An example sentence, playing with children tired her. Playing with children tired her. And the second meaning is a thick rubber ring 
that covers a wheel. For example, I got a flat tire on my way home. I got a flat tire on my way home. And last but not least, wave. The first meaning is a noun, which is raised water in the sea or ocean. An example sentence, there are huge waves today. There are huge waves today. And the second meaning is a verb, which means to move your hand or your arm in order to attract someone's attention or say hello. For example, he waved at me. He waved at me. So guys, that's it for today. If you liked this lesson, make sure you watched the first edition right here. And guys, thank you for watching this lesson up to the very end. If you learned something new, a new meaning you didn't know, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!